Hey, what's up pilots? Skip here. We're going to do a quick comparison here of two identical batteries I want to do a test. One is a Gens Ace, brand new in the box, and another is an HRB uh, that comes kind of in a generic box, uh, but about half the price. I paid uh, $94, I believe, for this uh, Gens Ace on Amazon, and I got this uh, HRB. It took, took a little while to get here. It had to come from across the pond. Uh, but it was about half the price. I paid $49 for this one. Um, but we're going to check out the resistance value, uh, inter internal resistance and everything's on them fresh off the start. And then I want to cycle them about three or four times, kind of break them in, get molecules moving and stuff. You kind of want to do that break in a battery before you just, especially if you're going to be putting it in a jet. Uh, you want to break in the battery a little bit before you go out there and, and go gung-ho. So hold tight here. I'm going to pull these out of the box and we're going to get them hooked up. I'm going to use the same lead here and stuff just so that we don't have any discrepancy uh, whatsoever in you know ohms or whatever in the wiring and the connections. I could do them both simultaneously, but you know just in case there's any difference whatsoever in the wire, we're going to do it with single wires, with one side, one side only. Okay, I'm all set up and ready to go. Let me get them out of the box and we'll get them hooked up. Hold tight. Okay guys, I've got them out of the box, and uh, before I hook them up and stuff, I thought I would take a look at them and see them in comparison, uh, size and stuff comparison, and line them up. Let's see, let's line them up here a little bit. And look right over the top. Looks like the Gens Ace is just, just, just a tad bit longer. They're about the same. They're actually about, they're identical. identical. Uh, shape and in, in the sides okay. and pretty much pretty much the same here like I said just a tad longer on the Gen Z's um, height wise let's see here that's what we're going to see some some difference just a little shorter on the Gen Z's that's why the extra length so all in all it's the weight's probably going to be, be about the same I was wondering if the old style or new style what was going to be uh, in this case it looks like it's just going to be the shape of the battery so the, it's probably the new material stuff here too all right let's hook them up and check it out okay guys we've got the the Gens Ace uh, these are 3300 milliamp 60 C 22 uh, 22 volt battery six cells uh, I've got this one hooked up and we're going to check the battery resistance on it right now See if I can get a good shot with this for you. And right out of the box, we've got uh, fairly low numbers, five, 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 four, five. Okay, so uh, one one cell is just off a, a tad. That's not bad. Now let's go back here and check the uh, system setting. Battery, system battery, battery voltage meter. Vol voltage. We'll check the voltage. How they came. see that uh, these were a little low 378 379 uh, right in around storage storage range um, could be just up a, a tad a little bit higher but like I said we're gonna bring them up a little bit you know battery may have been sitting a little bit uh, we're gonna charge them cycle them a few times and give them a break but the internal resistant looks pretty good all right now let's check out the HRB Okay, guys, same way here. Now, this is the HRB 3360C, um, and I've got it hooked up the same way. And again, we'll start the same way here with the uh, internal battery resistance. Let's see if I can get this settled, settled down here. And it starts off with uh, 433332. That's pretty darn low numbers, and again, that's pretty well balanced out. Uh, that's actually lower numbers in the than the Gen's Ace. All right, let's check out the uh, the voltage that it was shipped in. Battery voltage meter. Three eight two is across the board, guys. That's pretty sweet. That means I got some pretty good balanced cells. Yeah, they remain pretty consistent so now this is part of a test here guys like I said these are fresh out of the box they haven't been run they haven't been flown in a plane or anything uh, I plan on flying them in the uh, f-16 jet 
I'm going to cycle them again, like I say, about three to five times. Uh, twice I'm going to actually run the, the jet a little bit with them. Uh, not at high speed, some high, you know, kind of run the, the up and down, up and down a little bit. Just kind of break them in a little bit. Because uh, I don't want to just take them out and tear, you know, tear them up. Because that's what I'm probably going to want to do when I do fly. I don't want to fly them fast. So I'm going to cycle them about five times all together. And then fly them, we'll check voltages and do a comparison. Okay, is it, you know worth it to pay the extra uh well in this case i the extra almost 50 bucks compared to this so uh depending on the price you get these you know this you might find this about 60 bucks but that's still a whole lot different than uh you know the 90 to 100 dollars you're going to find on this one um but we'll see i do like the gauge wire on on the uh the gens ace batteries a little bit better it's a it's a heavier aug i believe it's it says it's 10 aug 10 aug let's see here yeah, 10 aug, 10 aug, yet the uh, HRB, I believe, says 10 aug as well. It might just be the uh, insulation on the battery is thicker, but uh, I would swear, pinching and feeling, that the Gens Ace has got better wire. I would go with the better wiring on the Gens Ace. We'll have to see if there's any heat problem or anything like this, because if, if the wires start to kinkle up or curl after a hard run, you'll know that there's too much power going through a smaller, too small of a wire and that that's not really 10 gauge wire. Uh, that looks more like 12 to me, but uh, we'll have to see. I mean, doesn't, doesn't, this is 12 gauge wire right here. And this looks actually a little bit fatter than this, so it might be 12, but I'm pinching it and I'm feeling some of the wire strand in their size. Eh, it is bigger, but I don't think it's as big as, I don't think it's as much as the, uh, the Gen's Ace. Anyway, guys, this is the first part of this video. Uh, second part, we're going to be flying the things and uh, finish up the, the comparison. Thanks for watching so far. Hold tight. All right, I just finished charging the HRB, up to a full charge, 4.2s, and here's what I get for the internal resistance. Let's see if we get that in the camera. Pretty darn good. Two, 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 three, two, two. That's even lower than when it first started off. Now this is just the first charge. We're going to cycle them a few times and then we're going to fly them later on in the jet. And I'll put all these pieces together so you don't have to watch an hour and a half video. Alright, thanks for watching on this one. We'll show you the uh, values on the Gens Ace as well. Um, and then we'll check voltages and stuff like that and give impressions after the flights. Alright, thanks for watching so far. Tight. Okay guys, we're ready to try this. Got both batteries fully charged. They charged at about the same rate. They charged at about the same same MAH that they took. This one actually took a little bit more, but the voltages were off just a tad. Uh, and they took about the same time to charge. So, we'll see what the performance is. Did cycle them. And, uh, make sure I get the right polarity here. going without the lights and buzzers and bells this time except for maybe the uh, except for maybe the afterburner because I got a feeling we're going to end up needing that anyway Oh, about that far. Okay. I forget. I think it's 95 or 100 I used. Okay. 100 I think I did. Okay, let's turn on our other camera here. Got that one started up. Okay. Guys on the on board, enjoy your ride.
this guy get out a little bit. Taking off. Whoa, watch that cross one when you hit up there, buddy. That was real. She almost got away from me a little bit there. Didn't realize I didn't have, I had it in <laughs> acro mode. Oh, let's lose the gear. I've got my timer set to three minutes, guys, because I fly it kind of hard. We're uh, pretty much pushing the throttle here between three quarter and full all the way. Back down just a little bit, save the battery. Other than that, she's flying pretty darn straight. Regardless of the crosswind, that AS3X really does help. Alright, I'm going to go down to a little bit more rates here. Should we buzz veto here? Did you hear that pretty good when it came by? Yeah. This is just a coast. Got about 51 seconds left here. seconds okay gear coming down let's go this way I like going into the wind a little bit better when I come around all right landing Wow Okay, maybe we'll try that one more time. Eh, time expired. I hope I got the time here. All right, she's got to come down this time. Watch out, buddy. Man, she just didn't want to come down this time. Catching a little bit of wind there coming down, bud. She could have dead sticked. <coughs> or she could she could she could have dead sticked and I could have let I could have let off the stick about halfway back from where I did. Now you're just 
Okay, thanks for watching this one, guys. Let's check our uh, flight time. We're 30 seconds over, so that's 3 minutes and 30 seconds till shutoff time. And then we're going to check our voltages. Hold tight. Okay, let's see what we got here, guys. 2281 to uh, 379. 379, 379, 379, 378, 385 on the last one. Okay, well, this probably has something to do with the draining a little bit, maybe off of the afterburner. I don't know. But uh, this one always seems to, when it's discharged, uh, one cell seems to be a little bit higher than others. Okay, we'll get the other test going. Hold tight. Okay, flight number two, guys, with the uh, 3360C. It does weigh about 20, uh, I'm sorry, about 30 grams more than the Gen's Ace. It's a little bit taller, a little bit shorter. Uh, and I forgot to put the Velcro on the bottom of this, so I'm hoping I've got it tight enough in there. So hold tight. We're going to get this going. All set. <laughs> Here we go. Taking off. And gear up. Should we scare some ducks? Got that one started up. Okay. Guys on the on board, enjoy your ride. <laughs> they can't outrun me, man. They're not happy. <laughs> You know, this HRB is a little heavier, but I think it's a little peppier. Set up for a, a pass here.
after I forgot to plug in my afterburner. That's what it is. Yeah, a little nose heavy, but we're dealing with it. It's just about time to land here, guys. Yeah, 30 seconds. Okay, gear coming down now. And make that turn? Yeah, okay. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. This was fun. It's getting cold and
hope you guys enjoyed the ride. No, nope. looks like the camera went off. Oh well. Now the camera went off. Maybe the battery, maybe the battery went dead, or I forgot to turn it on. Well, at least they took the cap off this thing. Yeah, I did. I got, thing, I have a charger. I'm guessing I got some of the flight. If you want to charge your battery, you can. No, I'm good. I'm good to go now. I've got two flights. I got some of the. I know I got some of the flight. Cause I'm pretty darn sure it was going. But the mo camera and the battery in this camera is getting old. What am I doing? The finger will take off out of nowhere. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me film this. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That was the. Uh, oh, uh, hold on a second. I gotta get the. Uh, seconds over so that's three minutes and 30 seconds till shutoff time and then we're going to check our voltages hold tight did you take off with flaps or did you just oh, there are no flaps, flaps on this one flaps. <laughs> no flaps flap. on this bird uh, I, I think I keep, I keep thinking I have my right hope you guys had a good time <laughs> here we go we got uh just around about the same flight time actually taxiing in uh killed about the other uh 15 20 seconds or so but I was a little bit over, not quite as over as uh, 30 seconds, but about 15, 20. But uh, let's see cells. We got 381, 381, 382, 381, 3779, 387. So battery seems to hold up pretty good. It's not warm. Bare well, barely warm. Barely warm. The... Uh, Leads and everything else seemed fine. And I think it actually had some pretty good pep to it when it first uh, first took off. And when it settled down a little bit, it didn't just drop all of a sudden. It did give me a little bit of notice that uh, it was time to start coming in. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy. And uh, we got a surprise for you. Timbo, uh, Timbo. <laughs> Vito, Vito has the Turbo Timbo, Turbo, I still can't talk. Turbo Timber 